Hi. In part one of two of this focus series, I want us to learn about the focus function in Microsoft Excel. This video focuses on forecasting airport passengers data from 2013 to 2019. You've been given historical figures from 2013 to 20 September 2017. We're going to use the function is equals to forecast dot ETS. This function returns the forecasted value of a specific value target using exponential smoothing method. Since we have the historical figures, we'll start our forecast from October 2017. To get us started, you need to prepare your data first so that in column A you have time data. This could be in days, in months, in weeks, and years or quarters, as long as they are time data as long as it's a date. On the second column that you want to focus, put your numbers on the second column so that they are um, up to whichever period that you want. Now, after that, we'll now do the forecasting using the equals to forecast.ets. The forecast.ets has some key main parts. The target date, which comes from the cell on uh, the time uh, time data, the values comes from histor historical figures. The, the target date is the date that we want to start uh, forecasting on. Values is the values on column B, that is the historical figures. Timeline is the time that is column A. Then seasonality, we want what we want to forecast is month to month, which will be one. And data completion is an optional value for handling missing values. The default value for uh, of 1 replaces missing values by interpolation and 0 replaces them with zeros. So to start us off, let's pick the start date which is October 2017. That will be our target date. Then the values will come from column B which I'll pick right from that point. That point then I will lock that using F4. The timeline will be picked from September 2019 all the way backwards to January 2013. I'm going to use F4 to lock that. Then the seasonality is equals to 1 and data completion is equals to 1. Then I'll click OK. Now reduce the decimals and copy this downwards up to September 2019. Optionally, we can also derive the lower confidence bound um, for the airport passengers and the upper confidence bound for the airport passengers. This guides on our focus so that we know our focus is bound by an, um, a lower bound. This more to do with uh, confidence interval. So to do that, we'll use a different function. Uh, there I go. To do the, we want to do the low confidence bound so we'll use the function forecast ets and uh, forecast dot ets dot conf, conf int. this returns a confidence interval for the forecast value at the specified target date so we first generate the low bound so i'll press ctrl plus a the target date is october 2017 the values will come from this then I make sure I lock with F4. The timeline will come from September all the way back to January 2013. Make sure you lock it. Confidence interval is 0.95 and seasonality is 1. Now, when you click OK, this is the lower bound. So I'm going to subtract this from our forecast. So this will be this forecast minus the lower bound. Then I enter reduce the decimals then copy downwards we follow the same for the upper bound by typing is equals to forecast.ets.conint control a then target date will be the same date october 2017 the values will come from our historical figures all the way to january 2013 the timeline will come from exactly the same place all the way backwards to January 2013. 
pick the same confidence interval of 95% and seasonality is 1, then click OK. I'll do the same drill where I add my forecast so that the real forecast will come from here plus the upper uh, bound. Then I'll click next like that. Then change these two numbers. So clearly we have now our forecast for the airport passengers, lower confidence bound and upper confidence bound. You can go further and do a chart for this, but that will come on part two of my video. Thanks for watching.